Hi, I'm Ash Coyote, and this is part two of my unofficial guide to a successful gender transition. Today, we're going to be talking about therapy, doctors, and all that fun stuff. Let me preface this by saying I am not a doctor, psychologist, or therapist, and all information presented in these videos is merely meant to educate and help others on their journeys. Now that that's out of the way, let's get to the fun part. That's right, therapy. If there's one thing that I attribute most to my success during transition, it was having access to a good therapist, who was able to help guide me through the process. But therapy is kind of a scary thing. I was so nervous when I went to my first appointment. The image of some middle-aged man peering over a notepad staring blankly at you comes to mind. Totally not the case, by the way. Like, my therapist was a super sweet bohemian, just amazing person. Honest to dog, going to therapy is really no big deal. Now, by this point, I am sure you're wondering why I'm bringing up therapy at all. Well, it has to do with this. WPATH. Or better known as the World Professional Association for Transgender Health. WPATH is essentially the clinical guidelines for treating gender dysphoria, and while the field is constantly changing, it is important to know the standards of care for your own well-being. Part of the WPATH guidelines essentially wants you to see a therapist prior to going on hormones. The validity of this is certainly up for debate, depending on what circles you talk to, but I personally feel that therapy helped me a lot. Just my two cents. Your therapist will be responsible for writing one of your letters supporting your desire to proceed with future surgeries and all that fun stuff that we'll cover in a later episode. Now, on to doctors. Prior to any hormones, you should talk with your primary care physician and let them know what's going on. They usually want to do a wellness check, which includes running several laps to ensure that your body is healthy enough and ready for HRT. Oh, and so you know, there are several different types of hormones that fit into different circumstances if there are some contraindications. Thank you so much for watching. Tune in next week for my next episode, HRT. And as always, if you like what I do and want to see more, please click subscribe.